if no questions we will move to the next presentation thank you harsha the next presentation is from uh, kiran kumar conservation of endangered and endemic species of southwestern ghats of india vanda tavesi a study kiran kumar yes sir hello good afternoon is this audible sir hello good afternoon sir is this audible hello good afternoon sir is this audible sir uh, kiran go ahead ah okay sir uh, good afternoon to one and all respected sir my dear friends i am kiran from the department of floriculture kiran go ahead present sir is this audible sir yeah yes sir okay uh, good afternoon to one and all respected sir and my dear friends i am kiran from the department of floriculture today i am going to present on the topic conservation of endangered and endemic orchid species of southwestern ghats india vanda twite sea my webinar flow goes like this initially with a brief introduction initially with a brief introduction followed by three conservational strategies like ecological niche modeling regeneration and mass multiplication conservation of vanda twite sea followed by a conclusion first we will discuss the importance of vanda twite uh, vanda orchids vandas are the fourth most important orchid genera they are commercially exploited for the potted plants cut flower cut flowers in the domestic and international trade vandas bears a beautiful elegant long lasting colorful flowers one such species is vanda twite sea it is endemic in nature and it is endangered due to habitat loss illegal harvest for medicine according to ethnobotanical reports it possesses the medicinal properties like anti microbial anti inflammatory anti cancerous apart from this it bears a beautiful showy flowers with a jasmine like odor then vanda twite sea originally reported from sri lanka now it is believed to be extinct there after 137 years it has been rediscovered in the kerala state so we doesn't have a exact current distribution of this species hence we took up our first objective as a ecological niche modeling for for this we had a field exploration program was carried out throughout the western ghats region in order to locate the geographical coordinates of this species about 82 different locations were identified and used for the max and analysis to predict the current distribution and the climate suitability of this species here the max and software is a logarithmic tool to predict the distribution of species with the help of primary data and the bio bioclimatic variables from this study the result shows here you can observe the locations which we have collected during the exploration program and in the results you can observe apart from india in the world map you can observe apart from india the species also distributed in the southeast asian countries like myanmar philippines malaysia and the african country like madagascar and the south american country like brazil and mexico coming to indian scenario this species is distributed from western ghats to eastern ghats and northeastern parts like sikkim meghalay and mizoram and important bioclimatical variables which govern the distribution of this species are bioclimatical variable 1 11 12 2 3 which means the annual mean temperature and the precipitation will govern the distribution of this vanda twite sea here we have to observe the results reveals that uh, red colored zones here in the picture you can observe the red colored zones where the probability of getting this species is high and these zones can be further uh, utilized for the reintroduction of this species this is the advantage of ecological niche modeling for the moving on to the se second objective the regeneration and mass multiplication of vanda twite sea here in the nature the propagation is difficult because of absence of endosperm or the nourishing tissue in the vanda orchids hence it depends on the fungal mycobion called ceratobacidium clone for the seed germination and survival of the plant so the population in the nature is very less hence we took up our second objective for, as a regeneration of this species through the different explant and the nutrient media initially we selfed the flowers and collected the 5 month old immature pod as an explant further newly emerged leaves and roots also taken as a explant among all these explants the seed shows significantly higher response in the tissue culture media compared to the other then further in this picture you can observe the immature seed which we have sown shown the different developmental stages in the nutritive tissue and it uh, artificial nutrient tissue uh, media 
the embryo to spirula formation then protocom formation then protocom to protomeristem formation these are the developmental stages of the orchid here among all the different medias which we have used quarter strength liquid media shown significantly higher seed germination that is about 89 percent of germination followed by quarter strength solid ms media further these protocoms and the protomeristem were subcultured in the quarter strength ms media supplemented with the different plant growth regulators among them nea 0.5 milligram and BAP 1.5 mg shown the higher number of shoots, leaves and the leaf length compared to the other treatments. Further these shoots were subcultured in the quarter strength MS media uh, along with the plant growth regulators. Among them IBA 1.5 mg and BAP 0.5 mg shown significantly more number of roots and root length. Finally we got a 3 to 4 leafed 2 to 3 rooted plantlet were obtained in the 25 weeks of culture. Here these tissue culture plantlets can be further utilized for the reintroduction program as we earlier discussed in the uh, ecological niche modeling that we have predicted in the ecological niche modeling. Then further these vanda seeds are tiny in the size hence these are the ideal candidates for the long term conservation. Hence we took up the third objective as the cryopreservation of vanda thwaite seed. Initially six month old old capsules were exercised under the laminar airflow chamber and inoculated in the 2 ml cryo walls and replicated in thrice. Here we followed the two methods of freezing. First one is rapid freezing means prepared the cryo walls were directly immersed into the liquid nitrogen and second one is step freezing method. Here we gradually decreased the temperature for temperature like 0 degree Celsius for 1 hour and minus 10 degree Celsius for 1 hour followed by minus 20 degree Celsius minus 60 degree Celsius then 196 degree Celsius in liquid nitrogen. Then the seeds were removed at the monthly interval up to 6 months and they were subcultured and they were cultured in the MS media and this period of storage is taken as a treatment. In this experiment we followed the two factorial design and analyzed the data using the SPSS statistical tool and the results show that among the different methods of freezing we used step freezing method shown significantly higher germination rate or the seed survival rate. We, we achieved 43% of the seeds were survived after the 6 months of storage. Then coming to the interaction study of step freezing method and 6 month seed storage can be efficiently done for the long term storage of this genetic material with a good survival percent of seed. About 40% of the seeds were survived in the step freezing method and and the storage up to 6 months. Here further we analyzed the fresh and cryopreserved seeds under the scanning electron microscope for the morphological differences. Here we observed that the cryopreserved seeds were shrinked and shriveled in the size. This has been statistically proved here in the area of the fresh seeds is 21,000 but the cryopreserved seeds is 8,000. This is because of cryopreserved seeds reduced their size in order to tolerate the freezing injury under the minus 190, 196 degree Celsius. Finally, I would like to conclude my presentation by saying the conservation can be effectively done using the modern techniques like tissue culture for regeneration and mass multiplication and the cryopreservation for the long term genetic resource conservation and the GIS tools like Maxon software or GIS for predicting the suitable habitats and the climate requirement of a species like Vanda Twide Sea this much. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Yeah, the topic is open for discussion. Any questions? I have one clarification. Yeah. Uh, he is telling that is uh, endemic. The word endemic, you know, actually Truman has explained this plant from Sri Lanka. Yes, sir. And uh, how we can say that uh, endemic uh, to Western gods? That's uh, one clarification. Sir, uh, this Vanda Twite yeah, is... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is audible, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Vanda Twite is originally reported in Sri Lanka. After the 137 years okay. of... Ex they have reported in the 2013 IUCN number. They have... This species is extinct in Sri Lanka. After 137 years, in the Kerala state, this has been rediscovered. 
this vanda white is existed in india this they has been reported after that in karnataka they have been reported in india only it occurs in kerala and sri lanka so it only specific to the niche like western ghats that's why it is endemic to our western ghats region so uh, okay more questions so have you tried any hardening procedures for this tissue cancer plants ah uh, yes sir uh, we are on the okay. process sir due to our uh, corona lockdown uh, we are unable to reach the uh, institute so further uh, continuation of this research work has been uh, delayed sir we further we will continue this uh, research work for the acclimatization and the hardening of the tissue culture plants three months so, they were not able to do anything that is a reason okay hi kiran yes sir yes sir. yeah yes sir please so congratulations for the nice presentation okay my i'm just general question only yes sir yes sir. so you have shown a, uh, what what is that orchid which you shown in the first uh, slide this is vanda white sister first was first slide i no 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 before that the, the title slide i think ah uh, this one sir background sir this is heaven area it, it is a ground orchid sir okay 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 so you are talking about the vanda white sister you are uh, presenting on the vanda uh, this is the vanda white sister but you are saying different one and similarly some other other van other uh, photos also were used in that No, some sir. red vanda or something like that no sir these are the vanda plants which we have collected during our exploration pro program sir these are the locations no, in some in some part of the result as the background they have used some other pananthira i think so no sir in the welcome slide only i used that uh, ground orchid man heaven area okay apart from the okay. apart from that i have used the tissue culture plants and the vanda white sea <laughs> photo <laughs> and the cryopreserve yes yes this one this one Uh, so in the background i think it is not uh, to it is uh, this is a uh, red vanda sir this is an endemic orchid of uh, northeastern states mizoram actually what is the use of that anyway congratulation best wishes yeah thank you sir thank you kiran yes sir thank uh, you. now we'll move to the fourth presentation strategies for uh, conservation of salacia chinensis a threatened medicinal plant by uh, lechmi mastikod Let's me. 